It's now been two years since I upgraded the storage in my PlayStation 5, and that came with a hefty price at the time, and I had to use the beta software that they had. I ran out of space so quick with my PS5. It was like, come on, when is this going to happen? They finally did it. Drive prices were expensive as all heck, and they continue to drop. But at that time, I could only afford a one terabyte drive. It was expensive, man. And I ran out of space on that pretty quick too. And in today's video, I'm gonna be trying something here. So I, I had a predicament, ran out of space again, needed the upgrade, Newegg hit me up and said, hey, we'll send you a Kingsman KP800 SSD drive, M2 Gen 4 drive for your PS5, and we'll send you an extra one to give away. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Now they did send me a two terabyte drive and that's great, but what I wanted to do was make sure I didn't lose any of my installed games off of the drive that I already had in there because I don't want to have to go through, find everything, re-download stuff, reinstall games, that kind of nonsense. So I wanted to figure this out and I did no research ahead of time. So we're gonna be going through this process real quick. So I have a Western Digital one terabyte drive in my system and I needed uh, a USB drive to transfer everything from that. At least that's what I thought, like, hey, is this gonna work? I, I just said, screw it, I'm gonna do it and find out. And it does work, but I did run into an issue and I'll explain, so maybe that'll help you if you have to do the same thing. So I have a USB drive, I formatted it, there was nothing on it, plugged it into the PS5 uh, to use as you know ex uh, expanded USB storage so I could transfer everything from that M2 drive onto that and then transfer it to the new Kingsman KP800 drive. I was hoping that would work and it does work, but it did take a little while. So I plugged in the drive, had to format it as you know extended USB storage for the system. I took everything, went into the storage settings of the PS5, took all the games off of that M2 drive, transferred them over to the USB drive. You can't play PS5 games off of a USB drive, so yeah, we gotta transfer back over. Now, once I did all that, it did take a while. I said like three hours at first, but it did, did speed up over time. It took like maybe an hour and a half or so. So I just set it, forget it, leave, come back later, and it'll be done. So once that was done, it was like, okay, power off the system, uh, remove the, the face plate so I can get access to the, the M2 drive, remove the old you know Western Digital drive that I have, and put in this Kingsman KP800 drive. So this drive, it has a read speed of up to 7,500 megabytes per second, a write speed of up to 6,500 megabytes per second. So it also has a heat spreader underneath and then a actual heat sink that you put on the top. It's not like pre-attached, you have to put it on yourself. It's probably best to line that up and do it before you install it into the PS5 because I kind of did it that way and it was a little wonky working with that limited space. I should have done it the other way, but I got the, the heat sink on there. You want to make sure you use the heat sink. It's going to get too hot in there. Okay, so I got that all in there, got everything put back together, powered on the system, have to format that M2 drive to use it as storage for the PS5. And it'll tell you at that time, like, you know, what the speeds are. I think it was somewhere around 6,500 is what the PS5 was telling me, which is pretty identical, pr very similar to what my Western Digital drive said when I, I did that a couple years ago. So I think that's, that's gonna be fine there. Now, yeah, I got a two terabyte drive. Kingsman on Newegg, they also have four terabyte and a one terabyte. Man, I spent like, probably what a four terabyte costs right now for a one terabyte two years ago. But hey, this process with the way it works and me just having the two terabyte drive, I figure maybe in the future, yeah, I'll probably need to upgrade to a four terabyte. That's a little pricey. I can't afford that right now. So maybe down the road prices will decrease even more and then I'll buy one of those and I'll use this same process once again to transfer everything over to kind of avoid some headaches, right? So once we got all that going, plug the uh, the USB drive back in. This is where I ran into an issue that I think it was just kind of a weird conflict. And what I think happened here was I recently bought Armored Core 6, right? And I still had the disc in the system when I was doing all this. So once that drive was removed and a new one was put in, the game was no longer installed. So I think the system was like, oh, hey, we got to install Armored Core 6. And then when I plugged in the USB drive, I noticed there was like a little icon for the extended USB storage, but I didn't like, I didn't really pay mind to that. But when I went through and I started the process, I was like, wait a minute. When I first transferred everything from the previous drive to this USB drive, it was somewhere around like 800 gigabytes. Now it's showing what I'm transferring from 
uh, the USB drive to the new M2 drive, the Kingsman, it's like half of that. What's going on here? So I think that Armored Core 6, it was trying to install it and it caused a conflict. Uh, after time, I look back at my footage that I recorded, like, yeah, it was like 800 something. Now it's like 400 something. This ain't right. So I canceled it and I backed out to double check things. That's when I realized, oh, the Armored Core 6 disc is probably causing an issue and other things were trying to install. So I like stopped things, canceled things, and then just redid it. And it did show up all the games that I expected to transfer over. Now, when it's reading the USB drive, for the, it, it can be a little sluggish to show all your games. So you just got to give it a moment. I think I was just excited to get this done and didn't really think about it. it. But yeah, double check all the games, you know, make a note of how much you transferred over, how many games, that kind of thing, and give it a second. And if all your stuff doesn't show up, back out. Make sure nothing is being installed, like, through you know playstation network or whatever for games that you have on the drive that you're transferring over just double check all that so i i did everything transferred everything from that usb drive back onto this new m2 drive it did say again it was going to take like three hours or something but it didn't take that long like an hour and a half or so and once that was done i just jumped into my system all my games ran perfectly fine i'm not noticing any issues seems to be just as fast and and reliable at least so far as my western digital was so that's cool if you're interested link down below if you want to grab one of these they have sales going on right now one terabyte two terabyte four terabytes with these kingsmans so big appreciation the new egg for sending this to me they did not pay me anything but they also did provide this extra drive for me to give away to one of you guys so the way this is going to work drop a comment down below i don't care what you say but Throw the name Kingsman in there somewhere so I know you actually want to participate, right? And then a week from today, the upload of this video, a winner will be randomly selected. I will communicate with you directly, and you will not be asked to pay anything. Scammers come out in droves when it's time for giveaways, stuff like that, and they'll ask you to pay, give up all sorts of crazy information, stuff like that. You will not be asked to pay. I never charge anything. Don't charge for shipping when we do giveaways on my channel. My channel name is Mad Little Pixel, and I am verified. I have a check mark next to my name. My name is not Mad Little Pixel on Telegram or any other uh, weird channel name. Never ask you for money, so don't fall for any of that. I will communicate with the winner directly. More information will be in the description so you understand how this works. But don't forget, you're not going to be charged anything if you win, so don't fall for these scams. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.